New men, guys and goddesses, TB Wahi, Black Living Room Talk. I am joined today with Nubian goddesses, the goddess Matarai and Queen Jari Anu for the volume two of the Patriotic Mind Detox. We're talking tonight about the Patriotic Mental Detox, the reprogramming of one's mind. I hope you enjoy the show. Let's go. Nubian guys and goddesses, this is TB Waheed, Black Living Room Talk. I have with me today the Nubian goddesses, and they are going to be talking about the, what was it, my sister? I'm going to let you tell them. Um, this is the Patriotic Mental Detox Volume 2, Reprogram One's Mind. And um, can you, goddesses, refresh the audience on your names, please? Yes, hi, family. Um, This right here you're speaking is uh, the goddess, Matara, and my cousin, Queen Jari Anut. And we are glad to have them back with us today. I don't know. We've got this relationship. I really enjoy having you ladies on with me. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna um, we gonna get right on. I I had people. Everybody's been asking about you guys. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I said, you know, we have to practice patience sometimes. Everybody wanted to know what part two was gonna be about. So here we are. You know, we making it happen. You know what I'm saying? You can't rush a good thing, right? Right, right. You can't rush a good. You can't rush it. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> it just comes together very well like that, don't it? Because the next time, look, the next time they're going to see us, right? Yeah, they're going to see us the next time. So we're going to have a meeting. Um, can you, I don't want to say her name wrong. Please tell me again. I'm so bad with names. Queen Jari Anut. Okay. Queen Jari Anut. Queen, we're going to have a meeting, okay? So we can get everything on track and everybody can have their place and there will be no mix up with different shows, okay? That's what we want to do because this, I think this is like fire, you know, don't (laughs) y'all? Okay, I'm going to let the goddess Matara get started. I'm going to let you get started with this. Okay, uh, so. If you guys watch the first one, uh, you're going to need to go back and check out the Patriotic Mental Detox. Okay, that was our first one. This is the, the Volume 2 uh, Reprogram the Mind version. Okay, so it's the follow-up of the Patriotic Mental Detox. This is the Volume 2 Reprogram the, uh, the Mind. And we want to just touch a little basis on what we spoke on. Um, on the first one, so that y'all can follow us uh, with the reprogramming of information that we need to put um, in place of what we have been uh, blindly following. So, um, we spoke about basically we spoke about basically five things and our first our first conversation on patriotic mental detox and those things were uh, the a war I mean the attack on the warrior spirit of the male and um, the submission attack on the female that we face heavily within our community uh, we spoke about uh, the roles and positions and basically losing your religion and lastly we spoke about the divine order okay we're going to put those in order for you so that we, um, we can follow in order we cannot follow out of order and with 
peace and love and understanding so that we know where we're going forward from here. And so I'm gonna let um, I'm gonna let my cousin Queen Tree Anu go ahead. Um, she's going to um, touch bases on a follow up about the story of Lilith. Um, before we get into that, I don't want to go all the way into detail, but I am going to touch some bases on the things that I just mentioned, the five things that I mentioned. Okay, so when we talk about the attack on the warring spirit of the male within our community, they are coming at you on many levels. We spoke about that on the first one, so check that out if you can. Um, and basically, bulletins on that was we spoke about them coming at you. Okay, the vibration that they have the music on, uh, the, uh, the drugs, the food attack. Okay, how it's attacking your DNA, uh, the medical shots uh, that they have for black people um, ge- um, generally as a whole, and also what they have for us, um, male and female. Okay, they got something for the female, but they have a whole lot more for the male. And, the invitation that they have on you guys with three hymns, okay? And that is the uh, medical times we spoke about, the money and the meat, okay? So if you want to know more on that, check out the first one. Um, submission, that's pretty self-explanatory. Everyone, we all know what that means. Um, and my baby just woke up. <laughs> But we all know about what that is. That conversation is all too familiar within our community, um, yes. on the female. And um, the roles and positions, we know what that is, okay? Basically, it's the head of the household, okay? Um, we know we know who it's supposed to be. It's who it is. Who run that house? The female. She's going to cook. She's going to clean. She's going to laundry. Uh, turn the house, the house into a home. Want to bring the children, want to pepper, um, both that offspring and that male component. Okay, and um, the divine order. Uh, if you don't know, you should know. If you can't know, check the first one out. Okay, love and peace, family, and of course, you know you have to. Okay, but uh, all of that is what we can talk from. Okay, and. We should definitely know by now if you don't know that this part is very very important it's key to everything that is the patriotic versus the patriotic system okay we have to get rid of the uh, system that we have been under and carry out with the um, patriotic system and so doing so um, I'm going to go ahead and let Queen be a newt um, Hit us up with the story of Lilith, and then we can touch uh, bases on the next things. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Queen Jerry Anut. I've been love and light to all my family out there, and I will speak on the story of Lilith, the part of the Bible you probably don't really, you're really not familiar with. You know, Sunday school they really didn't cover this uh, specific story. Um, in the beginning of, you know, with Genesis. But, um, Lilith was the first wife of Adam, if you did not know. Oh, and that was the first wife. Oh, y'all didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Mary, uh, 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 Lilith and Adam were made of the same clay, same mud, same mold. And there was a time where Adam wanted um, Lilith to submit to in the scripture it says Lilith was supposed to lay under um, Adam and Lilith was not down with that she didn't she was not understanding as to why you know if, if the creator created both of us equally why must I be inferior to you how am I inferior you know so, um, and that's where the whole concept of the patriarch system um, consists of because they're constantly, you know, deeming women as uh, evil, 
especially if you go refer back to your Bible, women are the evil ones, but women are the uh, mischief causing ones. Uh, we ask for the head of uh, 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 John Baptist, you know? So it, it's very important that we get to the root of the issue as far as biblical uh, scriptures go, because if we follow the, uh, the law and the rules of the Bible, we will see that, well, what's the point of having a woman? We will ask ourselves. And then when we will in turn see the, the, the kind of mistreatment of our women that we see every day. When, when our reality is your status in society can be no, raised no higher than the statue of your woman. If she is down low, so are you. Absolutely. So we cannot go on with this uh, ill thinking when it, when it comes to women because it's not good for ourselves, it's not good for our men, it's not good for our children. Okay? If, if the woman, not, not all women, you know, are uh, 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 fulfilling their roles as the matriarch, but it is simply because of the tools, I mean, uh, the tools that are used against women that causes us to not fulfill our feminine duties. Correct, correct. Um, it, it was Adam who was the good one who didn't, you know, eat from the tree of knowledge. It was Eve, the bad one, who ate from the tree of knowledge. <laughs> and they both ate. Right. But you would have thought <laughs> the way to explain it. I mean, you have to be transparent with this. If you have two children and you tell your son to tell, hey, when your sister wake up, you tell her, I said for you guys that you can't have any of this watermelon. And she gets up and no, no, no. That's not even how the story goes. The way the story went is that he came back and told her not to eat the watermelon. Okay? Yeah. He didn't even particularly tell her that this is what that father said to do. This is what dad said. He said not to eat it. He just told her as if he was telling her what to do. Which we already see Lila, she ain't down with listening to that. So even apparently what they like to say, the uh, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. So uh, she didn't listen to him. She ate it and said, oh, no, it tastes pretty good. It's not so bad. Why don't you tie it yourself? And the one who had the direct order, the direct given order from the father still went against if you ask me, that, that, the, the male component was in more wrong than the woman was. So, it's just common sense. You know, we don't have to be complicated about these things. Exactly. Exactly, most definitely. Okay. Yeah, because, so, I mean, if I could say anything, uh, the way I see it, um, she saw it first, and she wanted right. to eat it first, and then, yes. am I right, that she saw it first, yeah, and right. then she showed right. it to him, and then she told him that it was okay, and that and he went on and partook of this apple with her. Yeah, exactly. But he was one who was given the direct order from the horse's mouth himself. Exactly. That he said. And that's and that's and that's the whole point. Uh, we, we 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 study the Bible so heavily and so hard that we don't understand the concept of what the Bible was for. Okay, the Bible was for people who um, had no idea of natural law, natural, the universal law, divine law, okay? They couldn't tap in, so they needed a, 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 a story to be told to them on how to behave. Some people know it's right 
And some people don't know what's right. That's right. Some they people are, know. automatically know it's not cool to go kill your mother. Mm-hmm. Some people got to be told, no, it's not okay. You cannot go kill your mother. Because you're upset. That doesn't mean you get to blow up the school shop. Right. <laughs> Thank you. So really, okay. it's like everything really has its purpose, but you just got to know the purpose. You know, exactly. some people don't have, like, they don't even want to try to understand. And that's why we're in trouble now. You know, we're talking about uh, our community here. You know what I'm saying? And how miseducated they've been. Exactly. And, and the we have to understand that the Bible is not meant for us. The Bible's not meant for us. Even though it has us esoteric knowledge behind it, you know, and uh, the allegory of the stories are very uh, important as far as wisdom goes. But it's not it's not geared towards us. It's not. It's, it's, it's more so for people who have no innate uh, in, uh, communication with the with the divine source, the creator itself. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely correct because it's really it's really not, especially when you start delving and researching and finding out the truth and how your truth was plagiarized. You know what I'm saying? Because they got it from us. You know, and change the story, you know, just transpose the story, you know. So if you really want to talk about plagiarization, there's your, your, your greatest example right there. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and it's based off of your, your history. The Bible is a perverse version of the indigenous people's history and spirituality. It told you a story about you mm-hmm. reverse exactly exactly everything right. is reverse they're yeah. gonna tell you everything reverse because that's that's what they that's how they operate they they ask backwards that that's just what it is so you gotta understand that if you are following anything with this uh westernized uh imposter that stole your identity stole your land Stole your ancestors of uh, their lives. That's you know enslaved them. They basically uh, spiritually. I mean, on, on in every way possible that you can imagine, or that you can't even yeah, begin to tell imagine. Me about it. You said that. You uh, said this is what we're saying that you know that is detoxed at this point. We have, we have. So join us on this ship of de- detoxing that mentality out of your spirit, out of your being, out of your knowing, okay? And so we now need to reprogram one's mind. And I say one's mind because we're going to come together as one. Everything is about oneness and wholeness and unity. So exactly. let us come together and reprogram one's mind. So the way we need to re- reprogram is we need to put everything into divine order. And the divine order is the beginning and the ending and everything between. It is all and everything. The but importance of what, what, Yeah, exactly. Once you go against nature and how things uh, are supposed to be, your life will be in this in, 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 in shovel. It's just going to, it's just bound to be that way. You cannot wake up and say, oh, I'm this, I'm that. And God's like, that's not what I created you to be, though. And then expect everything to just be peachy. You know, oh, you cannot expect. But, but, but don't, don't, let me, let me mention that it might feel like it's all peachy right now. On this, on this plane. Because you can't forget what they are what they are warning you and people ignore they tend to ignore the the, the right things and the, the important things that they, they do behoove you of in that book of lies and truths mixed together that bible book states that uh, you can gain the riches of this world yeah. But spiritually and eternally, mm-hmm. you will suffer. Mm-hmm. 
he's speaking about he's speaking about the grat the gratification that you fulfill mm-hmm. for the flesh mm-hmm. and the spirit here on this on this realm on this earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But but the here and after when you connect to that spirit is nothing is nothing else that follows. The flesh is gone. The spirit is always there. And it never goes anywhere. So that's what you will be having to deal with. That e- eternal spirit. I'll tell you, eternal. When you die at some point and this flesh goes back to this earth. Your soul, it belongs to the universe. It belongs to the high, the most high. So, don't get it twisted. I wanted to uh, touch on that because uh, my my cousin Queen Jury and Newt mentioned about uh, you know uh, feeling like you know everything is gliss and glam and peaches and cream. Uh, I have to spe- I just have to specify that because there are things that are out here, and I'm not speaking because you know because you're a person that may be may happen to be bisexual or uh, homosexual or full full blown whatever okay I'm saying this because I know plenty of people who are still very that spirit they're very connected in it too but they just are bound by a certain chakra and an energy that they're allowing and they're working out of on a high level as if this is the high, highest peak, okay? You have seven chakras and some people are, are working from um, lower chakras on a high level, okay? But I'm saying that so that people understand that the things that they have here on this earth, they are rewarding you guys, okay? Once you are a male, and especially a black male, and become a proud, prideful, homosexual African American man within this country of the United Snakes. Okay, <laughs> they had it set up for you because a black man who is gay, they are not built for us, and that's why they want us all. They want all of our men this way. Exactly. So no, don't, don't you stand up for your people, but go ahead and put a dress on. The same with the um, <laughs> the um, gay or bisexual woman. They feel that because you are this way, it is easier to sway you and say, okay, if this woman is a woman who likes women, then she wants to replace the man. Or she doesn't like the man, she hates the man. And some of them very well do. All of them do not know, however. I'm aware of that. So I'm not saying that because you are a gay person that you're a bad person. And I'm not saying because that you are a gay woman that you hate black men. But understand the people who are in high powers within that lifestyle that are big and fluential people, they are. Because that's why they give them those, those people that statue. And to better um, be influences to the um, the common folks like you and I. Okay? So people can look into the black Christian codes and to see what, what, what it really means to be Christian under, under the uh, United States of America. Mm-hmm. The Black Christian codes. It is exploring what they try to put on us or beat us into submission towards. Uh, if you if you look at the root of religion, it is the binding of the soul, binding of the spirit. Oh, drop them dimes now, cuz binding Honey. of the soul, binding of That's the soul. Right. Tell it, Queen Jury. <laughs> if you want, if you. If you take the cross and fold it up, it, it forms into a box. Have you ever seen a box? And un, 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 
Uh, open it up. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Uh huh. I've seen it. Wow. Now, you know, and I, I, it's, it's very important to understand the roots of why you believe in something. What is the belief? Is the belief of your, your own uh, decisive knowledge you decided it, or was it co- coded into you? That's deep. Was it, was it told to you, this is what you better believe? Did you look it up? Did you get to the root of the information? Or did you just follow what everybody else was doing? Okay. Right. And also, epigen- epi- epigenetic plays a hard, a poor role in the way we are today. They, they purposely made us fearful purposely made our men to look as if they could not protect us. And because they could not protect us, the woman could not respect and depend on her man. So she she rose up as uh, being uh, her own protector. And in all actuality, you need your black man, black woman. And your black and black men need their black woman. Yes, just as we need you, black king, we need you, and we are each other's balance. Nobody comes before the other. We balance one another. We are different shape in sizes of pieces of this puzzle exactly. that bring that picture together as a whole. Uh-huh. We complement one another. It's not about, oh. I hope y'all caught that vision. Did you catch that <laughs> vision that I just drew out to? <laughs> All right. It, 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 it's complimentary. You know, everybody's like, well, the, the man is this, the woman is that, the man is this, the woman is that. It is complimentary, okay? Female energy is about emotion. Why? Because she tapped into the spiritual energy easier than a man does. The man is the logic, the dependable, the protector. Okay, he's not that emotional. He's more about right, left, black and white. You know, he's not at, he doesn't see gray area. So therefore, he needs this woman to help him see the gray area. So what do we do? What what can we do, my sister? Black and white sometimes. But how can we, how can we get this over to some of our sisters who are raising the male child? How can we convey this to them to get them to understand that they're raising somebody, somebody's husband one day, somebody's wife one day? You know what I'm saying? How can we get them to understand how important that is to our very existence? How might we go about doing that? Because I find myself, I mean, I, I did. You know what I mean? I have grandmothers who um, did it. We all have grandmothers. I'm sorry. TB Wahid, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to cut you off, but it's pretty, it's really hard to hear you. Oh, it's hard. Oh, you can't hear me? Okay, I'm so sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I had to pick it up because I had put it down. I said, how 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 can we get this into some of uh, our our sisters uh, that are raising uh, male male children? Okay. How how I, I ask myself this all the time. Like, how can we convey to them how important and imperative that is to our very existence? I mean, I have grandparents, grandmothers who did it, and I know you, you, you goddesses do too. You know, um, never went to jail. I've said that they're. I mean, they were my uncles, so I know this firsthand that it can be done. So I'm, I'm just like wondering. Um, this is a problem. And so I think oh, yeah. this is something that needs to be addressed as well because they need to understand that you're raising somebody's husband one day and somebody's wife exactly. one day. Exactly. We have to we have to understand the role. Um, women, we are the teachers. Okay, we are the first teachers. 
when the baby is born, they don't call God. Okay. They don't call on Jesus Muhammad, uh, uh, Joseph, Abraham. Right. <laughs> they don't call on them. They call Mama. I was trying to do it. Okay. I hear you. They yeah. Me. They wake up from a bad dream. They call my name. They don't call nothing else. Okay. Right. That's the reason why, because they know that when they see us, we are there to give them the nurturing spirit. We're there to give them the teaching. With the automatic The automatic So we have to fulfill that role effectively. Okay, we have to do it effectively. We have to understand that our children are part of a community, so they're not technically our. We're raising them to be uh, 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 upright individuals that is effective for our community. Okay, this is not our son. I mean, I mean, this is not our husband, not our boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Your son. Cannot just be sitting down playing video games and and uh, talking about sports and stuff all day. No, he needs to get up and be the uh, 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 learn how to do certain things without being told. One, so discipline. He needs discipline. Two, he has to learn how to think. Okay, not what to think. How, okay, because our men are, are very emotional. Okay, mm-hmm. they're not they're not being locked. They're sitting around arguing, and I'm just like, wow, I didn't know men argue <laughs> to disagree. <laughs> you know, so women, we, and it starts with us. It's, it's, it's our issue because we did not teach our sons to operate in a masculine way. We taught them how to act, act like us. You know, uh, react instead of thinking so we have to train that mind and as far as our little princesses go you know um we have to instill in them the treasure that they possess in them and to never let nobody tell you what you are worthy of and what you deserve of How they, how did that, I don't know how that happened. We were about talking about uh, the male uh, mothers raising the male child and how can we get this to, you know, convey to them how important that is. Exactly. Oh, yeah. How important it is for them to raise them that, you know, because you're raising somebody's um, husband and somebody's wife. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. And, and and it's so it's so crazy how you know like I'll sit around. You learn children will teach you uh, what they learn from other people. Quick, see how they interact with one another, how they play with one another. Mm-hmm. You know that uh, what type of house hold they live. In. Oh yeah. So we need to clean up how, essentially, you know, especially us as women, because we're the ones that's buying all the crap that they are getting. Instead of giving them educational things, <laughs> give them tools. Yes, I don't know what else is out. Yes, yes, what four or five? I don't know what it is. Uh, all those things. Oh. What I say is that we, uh, we give them the foundation of the re-infrastructure of the black man, black woman, and the black child. Okay? Um, and that's basically putting everything that we spoke about in the previous video of the picture out of mental, uh, mental detox. Where we spoke about the five um, uh, subjects, I'll go over them again. Uh, 
that's the patriotic versus the matriotic system. Um, that's number one. Number two is the roles of position. That also pretty much correlates with that head of household. Okay, those are one of the, the same. That's number two. Uh, number three is submission. And when we do the divine order, okay, uh, that eliminates the, sub, the submission in the attack on the warrior spirit of the male component. It, it gets rid of those number four and five simultaneously, okay? But that disappears when we keep our divine order and when we lose the religion. So, uh, number one was the patriotic and patriotic versus patriotic. Number two is the role of positions, head of household. Number three is submission for the female component. Number four is the attack on the warrior spirit for the male component. And five is a Lutheran religion. Divine order is really number everything. Okay? If that's number one, that's the, the middle second. And you always go back to that. And that's where you get to that. Okay? The divine order is everything. So when we uh, implement this and reprogram our minds to work in this divine order with the patriotic uh, system, we have eliminated the detox from the patriotic mental state. Okay? If we know our role and position, and we know who's head of household, the submission and the attack on the warrior spirit ceases and diminishes at once when we keep this divine order in place. And by doing so, you automatically lose your, you are already have it. No, the religion does to go. So, this is the uh, re infrastructure and the reprogramming, the foundation of the black man and the black woman and the black child. We do this family. And, wow, that is. That's where we need to be at. That's where we should have never left. I say. I say. So. I, I I I think that I rather enjoy that. That one. I mean, it's it's the it carries the same weight as the first show we did about it. You know, only we we went a little bit further, and um, I know the audience, the people are going to be looking for the third one. And we're gonna to try to make that happen real soon, sooner okay. than we did this time. I want to give y'all a, um, a dating, dating time family. Yes, most definitely. It's a well needed okay. topic in this world, especially with Kevin Samuel walking around here. I'm a high value landlord. Now, now the man's the booty. Oh my gosh, <laughs> man's the booty. <laughs> and, 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 and the thing is, they don't even understand what booty means. Booty did not mean the, the, the uh, physiology word, like the actual booty. It meant treasure. The man right. was the pirate who went in and got back his treasure, the booty. So I get <laughs> That's who you are, hot night like, man, I get That's what it sound right. It sound right to me, the treasure, the booty. <laughs> Ooh. But now, um, yes, family. So that's the um, that's how we um, that's how we gonna lay down this foundation. This how we gonna break these curses, okay? Um, and I also wanted to um, let you guys know that the third, uh, the third and final one, um, uh, will hold another uh, title. It's gonna be the patriotic uh, mental detox. Reprogramming of one mind, but we're going to um, expose even more on the um, submission. Okay, we're going to we're going to really break that down so that people understand how it's being how it's a tool that has been used against us, not for us, 
or both the male and the female. It's a disservice to both the female and the male of the black community. And um, that will be what we'll be on. And that will be the pretty much the final and um, last of this uh, part three of patriotic uh, mental detox. Okay, family? And then um, the next one, I believe we can just start hmm, planning on uh, discussing something, some options that we can um, implement. It's, so. I mean, there's so many things that we'll be able to like spin off and talk about concerning um, the patriotic mind and the and the mental d- detox and it's it's, it's 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 so vast. So we'll never run out of topics when 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 you know because when y'all come over, you know it, it it gets it gets crazy. It gets heated up, don't it? When y'all come in the living room, when y'all come, come on now. We we is not gonna lose no topics. I mean this this is not something that you can stop talking about because it's it feeds itself. The patriotic mind detox, patriotic mint. Come on now. Well, no, 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 sister. <laughs> we, okay, you right, you right, and you wrong. Something that we don't never need to stop talking about, but at some point something that we also. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, I say, yeah, we'll never, we'll never run out of topics, never. And we, we, yeah, we can't stop talking about it because, I mean, it's so vast. We need a healing. We need an understanding of forgiveness. You know, uh, we're so stuck on we need to forgive each other. Mm-hmm. And it's Absolutely. And we need, I think what it is, we're coming into talking about through this, we're able to start talking about solutions because we've talked about what has, how we need to come out of this and talking about the solutions will help us to be able to detox from it, you know. So yes, I, I salute you ladies and it's always great to have you. I'm so glad that you're with me. I'm always glad to have you with me in, in here speaking and about our people's uh, situations that you know that we're going through in, 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 in this in this country, you wow. know, that is you know, it's and been, we, it, we appreciate you so much and continue what he, you know, you're making this all possible. We are honored. And yes, I can't thank you enough because you're giving us the platform to share um, share love. Because when you share knowledge, that's really sharing love. You know, there's a lot of things that people keep to themselves. Um, out of our units, in comp- competitional, you know, jealous heart, mm-hmm. uh, part of it. You know, um, that's not what we're about. It, but it's all about peace and love and unity. Uh, within our community, yeah. we can't we can't thank you enough. Thank you again. And we're gonna um, let the people know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be letting everybody know that we're gonna be doing a. Um, we will have a visual show soon, and I will let everybody know. So um, yeah, yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So hey, I want everybody to know. You said what, my sister? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear. No, I didn't hear that. Can you hear me? I couldn't hear you. She couldn't hear you. 
Yeah. That's what she was saying. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm with it all. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, I say. And with that, I, I guess we'll. I guess with that, we'll say. Everybody have peace, love, and light tonight. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. I say.